justice is really important. I mean, American history is a river of unpunished blood. It, uh, and there's not any justice for that. You know, there's not justice for five million dead Africans at the bottom of the ocean. You know, there's not any, the only justice for that is transforming the society that produced that and stomping out white supremacy and creating a, an authentic multiracial democracy. That's the only justice for what has happened. In this case, of course, we have someone living who was involved. The problem is, um, and I don't think the prosecution is gonna amount to anything because the, the, uh, both the FBI and uh, a black majority grand jury in Mississippi have already ruled that and looked through the evidence that we had and decided that there was nothing to prosecute her for. It was not really clear what she did that was illegal. She lied in court, that's perjury. Although her, her testimony was not before the jury, that may complicate that question a little bit. But uh, let's just say she's guilty of perjury. And she confessed that to me in, in our interview. The statute of limitations on perjury is two years. So she's been clear of that since 1957. And uh, there's not, uh, I don't see what they're gonna prosecute her for. They're curious about what's in the interview and the, my archival materials about her. You know, there's nothing in there really, nothing that's gonna, gonna answer for sure the, the details of her involvement and uh, culpability. She's culpable in, in, in the telling of that lie about that Emmett Till had done something you know, physical, menacing, sexual toward her. Uh, she said that part's not true and nothing that boy did could ever justify what happened to him. That's important, I suppose. I just think it's important to remember that the justice in this case was uh, partly uh, delivered by Emmett Till's mother uh, Mamie Bradley, later Mamie uh, Till Mobley, who uh, leveraged the power of the media and the power of black Chicago and built a movement that uh, helped topple the system of which Emmett Till's murder was an inevitable byproduct. 